Frank, Mary and Seth share some sweets in the ratio. 4, 5, 7. Seth got 18 more sweets than Frank. And we need to work out the total number of sweets they shared. Okay, so I'm going to write this out here so it's a bit clearer. So we got Frank, who I'm going to say is F. Um, Mary, M. And Seth, S. And they share the sweets in the ratio of 4, 5, 7. Now this is the key part. Seth got 18 more sweets than Frank. And if we just decode the wording in the question, we're saying Seth got 18 more sweets than Frank. So what we're we referring to, the difference between Seth and Frank. Because we know that Seth got 18 more sweets than Frank. And when we mention difference, we talk about subtraction. So we know we're going to have to use subtraction. I'm going to go back over to the ratio here. Um, so we're talking about Seth and Frank specifically. So these two here. And um, we know we're talking about the difference. So I'm going to work out the difference. And um, because Seth got more sweets than Frank, I'm going to do Seth minus Frank. So we've got 7 minus 4. It's the difference between them. And that equals 3. And I'm going to label this here. And hopefully it will make sense in a minute. I'm going to label it as the ratio difference. So this isn't the actual amount of sweets they've got. This is just the ratio between the different people. However, we know in real life the actual difference is 18. Because Seth has got physically in real life 18 more sweets than Frank. So labelling this, I'm just going to call it the real life difference. So now what we need to work out, our job is to see how we can get from this, the ratio difference, up to the real life difference. So what the link is between these two. Now because we can see that the number is getting bigger, uh, we know, okay, so it's not a subtraction or division, um, so it must be additional multiplication. However, in this case, when we're working with ratios and things like that, we're going to be using multiplication. So we need to work out what 3 multiplies by to get 18. We're going to think of that by thinking of an equation. If we've got 3 multiplied by something, so I'm going to call it x equals 18. And we're going to try and work out what this x is. Um, so we're going to divide both sides by 3. So we divide the left by 3 and the right by 3. These 3's will cancel. So we'll be left with x. And 18 divided by 3 is 6. So here's our key number here. Here's our link between the ratio difference and the real life difference. So I'm going to put that up here. We're going to multiply by 6. Fantastic. So now using this, I'm going to start working over here. I'm going to look back to the question. We need to work out the total number of sweets they shared. So I'm going to use the same thing because we know now there's a link we've got between the ratio and real life. So I can use that in the next part. So in the ratio, Frank's got 4, Mary's got 5, and Seth has 7. So in total, we're going to have 4 plus 5 plus 7, which is going to equal 16. For this, I'm going to call it again, as similar to last time, the ratio total. However, what the question is, is we're going to ask to work out what the total number of sweets they shared are. So in real life, what's the actual amount of sweets that they had and they shared all together? So you want to work out the real life total. So we're going to use our key bit of information we worked out here. We worked out the number that's linking the ratio to real life is 6. So again, we're going to do the same thing here. Here we multiply by 6. Here we're going to multiply by 6. So we've got 16, which is our ratio total. We're going to multiply that by 6. And that gives us 96. Um, and because this is a calculator paper, we can just put that into our calculator and speed up our working. And this is the answer here. Um, 96 is our real life total, so the amount of sweets that they had. So we're going to write that down here in the answer box. And this question right here is a three mark question. So we're going to work out where we've got the marks. So first mark is over here, um, work out this six. We've got to employ some sort of strategy to work out this six. Um, so if you get down to this um, answer of six, you get a mark. Next mark for this part here. So work out the mean to add them all up to get 16 and multiply that by six uh, to get the total. So you get a mark here for this sort of section working over here. And then for getting the correct answer of 96, we get our third and final mark.